Hi everyone. As part of getting ready for 2021, I want to talk about some goal setting. I'm sure that many of you are familiar with the idea of setting SMART goals, that is those that are specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound. And that can be really effective for a lot of regular life goals um, because many of us make the mistake when we make our New Year's resolutions, for example, that we want to lose weight or pay off debt or save money, and we tend to make those very vague. Uh, so setting something that is smart can be much more effective by making sure that there, there's something that you can put together a strategy for. But I want to talk about a different strategy, which I find works really well for my clients when we talk about their finances. And those are hard goals. And, and like SMART, the H-A-R-D stand for specific things. Uh, and this week, uh, I'm going to make a, a series of, of other videos, which are going to go into a little bit more detail about each of the, uh, the four elements. So this one is just a, an overview. But the, the hard goals are heartfelt, animated, required, and difficult. So what do I mean by that? Well, each of those have to have an element within the, within the goal that are, are focused on the specific financial. So for example, heartfelt. That should be a goal that really, um, it, it's, it's almost an obsession for you. So for an example, many people, their, their goal is to save to buy a house and they think of nothing but saving to buy a house. And that's something that is heartfelt. It, it helps build family. It, uh, it, it uh, speaks to you know, Maslow's hierarchy of needs of, of having shelter and safety and security. So saving for a house is a very easy one to, for people to understand underneath the H. What does animated mean? Well, animated is it something that really excites you. It, it, um, it, it mean, it, you, you're almost obsessive with the goal about that. And an example, and, and it's a bit of tongue in cheek, but animated, being able to take the kids to a Disneyland or Disney World vacation. You can imagine the, the, jo the excitement of the kids when they find out that they're going. You can imagine going to the airport, uh, what it's like to walk up to the gates of the Magic Kingdom for the first time. Uh, the, the feelings, the sights, the sounds, the smells. People find it very easy to save for something like a Disneyland vacation because it, it animates them in, in that uh, it, it, it's so easy to get a hold of. It's much better than thinking of something like, uh, well, I want to pay down debt or I want to save $5,000 over two years. Those are too abstract, but they're also not something that really speaks to who you are as a person. Required. Required is a little difficult to, 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 to grasp, and we'll go through that in the, in the video I'm going to make that's, that's really about that, but it's something that absolutely has to be done. You, you cannot not do it. So if we talk about uh, fitness goals where I want to lose 15 pounds over the course of the year, that's not required. There, it's too easy on the day today um, to allow another choice to come in. But if it's required, if, if you know that um, a, a 10th anniversary Hawaiian vacation is absolutely essential to the health of your marriage, or you have to save for retirement because your company isn't doing that, then it really does increase that motivation. Uh, and when we talk about financial goal setting, it's all about choices. You can choose to, to put the money towards a goal, or you can choose to spend for something today. And if it's required, if you know that uh, there is no chance of failure is not an option, it is a lot easier. And the final one is difficult. Now, when we say difficult, it shouldn't be impossible. Think of the A in the SMART. It's something that should be achievable. Being difficult means that there's a challenge along the way. So if your goal is that I want to, uh, I want to get a degree or a diploma or further my education in any way, it doesn't mean that you're going to have to sacrifice, that there are going to be times when you have to study where you'd rather watch television. But along the way, you can achieve smaller goals by uh, you, you find satisfaction in the challenge of passing exams or handing in papers of completing coursework. Uh, so those can also be applied to, to the financial goals. So 
Uh, I hope that you, you come back and, and join me as we dive deep, deeper into the each of the elements of the hard goal setting and make that an, uh, um, a plan for your 2021 financial resolutions. As always, if you have any questions, please contact me and have any other ideas for things you'd like to cover up. But I hope I'm going to see you as we go through the HARD model of uh, financial goal setting. Thanks very much and uh, looking forward to seeing you.